Mamie Van Doren, who was uh, born Joan Lucille Olander in February 6th of 1931, is an American actress, model, singer, and sex symbol. She is perhaps best known for the rock and roll juvenile delinquency exploitation movie, Untamed Youth. Of course, Van Doren was born on February 6th of 1931 in Rowena, South Dakota. She began working as an usher at theater in Hollywood. The following year, she had a bit part in an early television series. She sang with Ted Fiorito's band and entered several beauty contests. And at age 17, she eloped to Santa Barbara, California with uh, Jack Newman. But because of the abusive nature of the marriage was quickly dissolved in the summer of 1949, at age 18, she won the title Miss 8-Ball and Miss Palm Springs. She was engaged to heavyweight boxing champion Jack Dempsey, but broke the engagement upon signing a contract with Universal Studios. Producer Howard Hughes discovered Van Dorn when she was crowned Miss Palm Springs. Paradated for several years, Hughes launched her career by placing her in several RKO films. Hughes provided Van Dorn with a bit part in Jet Palette at RKO Radio Pictures, which was her film debut. Her line of dialogue consists of one word, look, and she appears uncredited in the film. Though production of the movie was from 1949 to 1953, it was not released until 1957. The following year, 1951, she posed for famous pinup girl artist Alberto Vargas. Van Dorn did a few bit parts in movies at RKO, including His Kind of a Woman, starring Robert Mitchum. And about her appearance in his movie, Van Dorn said, if you blink, you would miss me. I look barely old enough. Van Doren then began working on the stage. She was a showgirl in New York City in Monty Prozer's nightclub version of Billion Dollar Baby. Songwriter Jimmy and McHugh discovered her for her musicals and then decided she was too good for the chorus line and should have had dramatic training. She studied with Ben Bard and Bliss Hayden while appearing in the role of Marie in showcase production of Come Back Little Sheba. Of course, in 1953 through 1959, Van Doren signed a contract with Universal Studios, and Van Doren went to star in several bad girl movies that later became cult films. She was in Teacher's Pet, Paramount Pictures Born Reckless at Warner Brothers, High School Confidential, and The Beat Generation, the latter two at Metro Goldwyn Meyer. But Van Doren was just as well known for her provocative roles. She was in prison for Girls Town, which provoked censors with a shower scene where audiences could see Van Doren naked back. As even the private lives of Adam and Eve, she wore a fig leaf and other films like Beautiful Legs of Sabrina. Sex Kittens Go to College and Vice Raid. Audiences understood the nature of the films from the title. And after Universal Studio chose not to renew her contract in 1959, Van Doren was then a free agent. And struggled to find work and and first of these latter films was sex kittens go to college uh the blonde from buenos aires uh she came back to the candidate in 1964 soon followed freddie in the wild west and of course van doren next appeared in the las vegas hillbillies in 66 she would be in her personal life was married five times since 1949 but she was never a playboy playmate as a lot of people would think but she was always compared to James Mansfield and, of course, Marilyn Monroe as one of the big M's. And, of course, she is known to me for Untamed Youth and, of course, Girls Town. I enjoy watching those films, and this is where I learned more about Mamie Van Dorn, who was just uh, built like unbelievable. Uh, you will not, she was stacked more like not just a brick house or more like a mansion. And Vammy Van Dorn, you can find out more about her by Google, or you can also watch Mystery Science Theater to see about three movies that she's in there. So you guys check her out, check the films out. And again, if you want to hear more B-Movie Cycle and media stars right here in the comment section, let me know who you want me to talk about next. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for subscribing to the Coconut Daddy Channel. Who's your daddy?